This is Coyote News. Coyote News' Delaney Nillis is live in the muck to learn more about the ongoing election and what to be expected going forward. Delaney? Thanks, Alia. I'm here with Addison Miller, president of Get Out the Yoat. Thanks, Addison, for being here. Thank you. Addison, how do you feel students responded to having no declared winner of this year's election? Um, it's anxiety inducing, right? Because, I mean, we're, we're, I mean we're, we're a college campus. We're, I mean, we, we, most college campuses are pretty liberal, right? But then, especially being in South Dakota, it's kind of a 50-50 split. Um, Clay County was the only county that wasn't a reservation in South Dakota so far that um, went blue as well. So, I mean, it's just a, it's a really divided time. So, I mean, I think, I think a lot of students are really anxious and waiting, but we should know pretty quick. And what are your thoughts on the unprecedented amount of mail-in ballots, which could potentially delay the outcome until Friday? Well, it's insane, right? I mean, like, there, there's so many. Um, it's, like, it, it's incredible how many that, like, there, there were. Um, but turnout, because of that, has increased, so, like, so heavily. I mean, get out the yote. Uh, saw I mean, we did the math, and we saw that in Clay County, turn, I mean, voter, voter registrations increased by 76% uh, compared to 2016, so I mean, that's pretty impressive, but with mail-in voting, like, it takes longer, but they're votes, right? So I mean, if, 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 if we told Friday to get every vote counted, then that's what it takes. But, and do you expect civil civility on both sides, of, no matter the result? To an extent, right? I mean, I, I mean, with, with, with any election, there's unrest. In 2016, when President Trump was first elected, we saw the largest protest in history through the, through, through the Women's March. Um, and now we're going to, I mean, I have no doubt that we're, I mean, in, in parts of the nation, after the, after the victory is declared, we're going to see unrest no matter what. But I do think that on campus, we're going to be pretty good. We're pretty good at what we are, what we, what, what we are here at USD. Thank you for being here, Addison. No problem. Thank you. Live in the muck with Coyote News, I'm Delaney Nellis.